in, in this video we'll talk about something called as Playfair. Now this Playfair is the next technique for the substitution. So if you have not watched the last video, do check that video and come back. So in this we'll talk about Playfair. What is Playfair? Let's suppose I want to convert that text as my uh, name is Navin, right? So I have to convert this text in a format, in a format which will uh, in, into a cipher, a cipher format. So this is the readable format. I want to convert this into cipher format. But for this, you need two things. First, you need a plain text. Okay, so in, to implement Playfair, steps are first get your plain text. Next, go for your keyword. Okay, so let's go for a keyword as uh, my channel name. My channel, not my channel name. Let's go for the subject name. The subject name is network security. So I have two things here. First, I have this plain text. Next, I have the keyword. Okay. But to implement this, steps are first create a matrix of five by five. Okay. So this the matrix should be of five by five. Question is why five by five? It's because in your uh, alphabets you have twenty six alphabets, right? So what we can do to accommodate those twenty six, I will take a five by five matrix in which I, I can have 25 blocks okay and I will instead of going with I and J I will go with only one cell so instead of going I will again go for I or J I will not go for both so either I or J so if you remove J from your system you will get only 25 characters right so in general I have 25 cells so let me create this block So this is my 25 blocks, right? So steps. First, get your plain text, get your keyword, create the matrix. Next step. Now insert all these keywords or keyword in this matrix. So let's start. So it becomes N, E, T, W, O, R, K. Okay. Then next, remove the space. As now, when you talk about E. E is repeating, right? So this E is already exists. So don't use E. Skip the duplicate ones. Go with next. Then we have C. Then we have U. Then we have R. R is done already. Let's go for I. And then we have T. Oh, T is repeating. So T is done, right? Then we have Y. Okay. So now we have done all. We have, we have done with the network security, right? So everything is there. Rule says duplicates are not allowed. Okay. Then what next? Now in this remaining block, you have to accommodate, uh, accommodate all those alphabets which are not taken here. So let's suppose A. So A is not here, right? So we can write A. Then we can use B. B is not here. C is taken. D. Okay. E taken. F. G is not there. Then H is not there. I is taken. Again, J. Either you can go with I or J. Since I is there, skip J. Then we have K, K gone, L, then M, N is done, O, O is done, R, done, P, 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 yeah, P. Then Q, not there, Q, S, T, U, U done, V, then done, W, and then that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's N E T U. W is done, right? W is not there. So V U W and oh, W is done. It's X and Z, right? So Y is done. So X and Z. So your steps first create the uh, keyword and write all this keyword in your box and the remaining alphabets you have to fill up. Okay. Again, if you are using I, don't go for J. Skip J. If you are going with J, skip I. You have to go with one, either I or J. So once you've done this, next step. Okay, so first step, second step, third step. Next step is go with your plain text and create pairs. Pairs means this. There's two pairs. Okay, so we have M, Y, N, A, M, E, I, S, N, A, V, I. Now the problem with this N, we don't have any, uh, this is your odd character, right? So what we can do, we can add X here to make it a pair. So here's the last is NX. 
Now, now what, what we do? Steps. Okay, now this is very important. This step is very important. Now we talk about my search for my you have m is here and y is here now to you have to create a box in this so this is your box right so when you talk about m and y you have this box now in this box you have to take the diagonal opposite uh, character so diagonal opposite for this m is g so in this box in this virtual box diagonal opposite for this m is g then for y is b Okay, so that we have so we have converted my into gd. Then n a n is here, a is here. So we have to create a box here. And for this n we have p, and for this a we have i. Again, you have to go with diagonal opposite. Then m e m is here, e is here. Again, you have to create a box, so virtual box. For m it is g, and for e it is o. What next? I S. So if it is I. I is here, S is here. Create a box. For this I you have A and for S you have R. What next? For again N A. For N and A you got the combination as I T, right? Oh sorry, it's T I. So we we'll go for T and I. Then for V I now. So is V V is here, I is here. Create a box. So for V it's P and for I is A. And then we go for NX. Now for NX, N is here, X is here. So this is your box. Okay. Then we have we're taking we're talking about NX, so it's W and P. So this is your plain text, and this is your ciphertext right it's so simple you have to convert your text a plain text into a cipher format easy right but what if if i write something here like uh, fl so let's suppose my name is navin fl in that case if you talk about this f and l both belong to the same row right so you cannot create a box here. So what we can do, we can go with this line, okay? Since we don't have any opposite, we don't have any diagonal opposite numbers or characters, what we can do, we can just go with the next number, okay? So for this, for L, again, you have to go with this circle. Uh, we'll go with M. And for F, we'll go with G. So we have to go with the next, okay? I'm missing something, it's reverse, right? So it's... G M. Oh, yeah, G M. Okay, so we are going with the opposite numbers, right? And then what if if I have um, it's S S. So if you have two S, what will do? Now if you go with two S, it's center, right? So what is the replacement of S, right? You cannot say it's next or up or down. So what you can do if you have two letters uh, back to back, just change the next letter as X. Okay. So with this, your x, s is here, x is here. So this is your box. So for s, we have c. And for x, we have v. Okay, so this is how you have to implement Playfair. How to go back? Just go back. You know, go with this. Again, go with the keyword. Put the values. You will get the, my name is Navin, x, f, l, x, s, x. Okay, so this is how you have to implement Playfair. Okay, so for next concept, we'll be in next video.